Hoover, I like his hair. <laughs> <laughs> She's smelling her feet. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Wholesome moment. The leather on it. Hello and welcome to another Melbourne Diaries. I'm Chanel, and today what I have planned is I am off to pick up a Banoffee ice cream Easter egg which I have purchased as a surprise for my kids this coming Easter. I am going to a little bookstore to, to spontaneously purchase a book. I am taking myself out to lunch. And then this evening, I have the new book club that I'm trying out. I'm just curious to see if it's the same demographic of mostly um, retired people, retired ladies, I guess I should say in particular, or if it's maybe younger, millennials, Gen X, Gen Y, Z, I don't know. We're just going to see if it's different. If it's the same, then I'm sticking with my with my lovely ladies and my afternoon book club because definitely more of a day person than an evening. And I do have to get my lovely mum to babysit my kids so I can go tonight. But I just wanted to see what it was like. Besides that, we've had a heat wave in Melbourne and with heat waves, they do bring danger in, in regards to bushfires. And I've been trying to help the local wildlife by keeping my bird baths full of water and placing out some fruit for them to have because all of the flowers that, for instance, the wattle birds eat uh, were all shriveled up and burned up in the sun. So I, I wanted to give them another food source since they were coming here to eat those flowers and then couldn't. And so far so good. I've just been putting fruit out and the wattle birds and the crows and some other birds have been eating those. So hopefully I've helped them get through these, these couple of days of the heat wave, but it is due to break tonight, thank goodness. Besides that, this week I also have the perfume appointment where they're going to create a bespoke perfume for me. And then after that, I'll I'll do the perfume vlog and you can see which perfumes I ended up choosing and what my bespoke perfume will consist of. I'm very curious. Could you imagine if I don't like it? What do you do? What's the protocol? I don't know. I'm a bit nervous. But I'm sure I'll end up with a perfume that I like, surely. The price that you pay for it. I'm sure satisfaction is guaranteed. I also just did a VR for St. Patrick's Day. It's St. Patrick's Day this weekend. I don't really celebrate it, but my mum still does. And that was a lot of fun. I don't haven't done VRs in a while. I've just been very, very busy. I'm also considering a possible career change. As much as I love futures trading, it is quite volatile and is quite stressful. And I am hoping maybe to transition to something a bit more stable, but we'll see. It's, it's all up in the air at the moment. But I will check in with you guys once I have returned from my outing. Okay, so I'm back from my outing. So the restaurant was lovely. It's got a gorgeous French bistro chic decor with dark wood and a hunter green. So beautiful aesthetic. I did go at lunch on a weekday and I was surrounded by businessmen. So I was absolutely cloaked in a cloud of cologne. And I found obviously that their conversations were quite loud, so I couldn't really read. So I wouldn't recommend if you're wanting to go there to read, to go right at lunchtime on a weekday, but I would definitely go back. The steak was really lovely. The fries were a bit overcooked and spicy for me, but the creme brulee was also really lovely with a nice crack on the top. So creme brulee when it's done right is my favorite dessert. I also just got them to make me a mocktail and I don't know what was in it. I tasted cherries. So something to do with cherries. And then I went into the bookstore, which was beautiful. And I got this book. So I just randomly chose a book. So this is Bluebeard's Castle. And I selected it just based on its cover. You know, it's very gothic. 
But I opened it up and I saw the debut novel from the acclaimed director of The Love Witch, which is a beautiful movie. And then at the bottom it says, it's filled with dark humour, evocative imagery, and a subversive take on modern romance and gothic erotica. And then if you open up the middle of the book, you've got a beautiful end page. And I'll see if there's anything on the other side. So how can I not? It's very pretty. Um, I don't know if it's any good, but it was an impulse purchase. I also picked up The Egg from Piccolina Gelataria. I don't remember what the name of the actual story is. I always forget its name. But now I'm just going to read. I'm currently reading The Picture of Dorian Gray. It's a reread. And then I've got my book club. So I'll see you after my book club. Bye bye. Hello. 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 <laughs> Blue. Didn't end up going to the book club yesterday. My kids had tummy aches and I had an awful headache. So I thought better safe than sorry. Didn't miss out, we'll have to try again another time. I did read this book that I purchased at the bookstore yesterday. Don't recommend. <laughs> Just watch The Love Witch. It, this would have definitely been better as a film than as a novel. And I wouldn't call it gothic erotica. The spice level was very, very tame and it was not spice anybody, <laughs> anybody really wants. <laughs> so. Don't recommend. The cool change has come, which is fantastic. I have another exercise physio appointment. I did end up with Doms for three days after my last session, so I'll let her know. Because yeah, if I if I can't move and I'm in pain, it's sort of counterintuitive to exercise once and then have to spend four days recovering, not doing anything. And I still actually have not <laughs> moved at all. So that's not great. Uh, and otherwise just got the appointment on Friday for the perfume. So I will see you then. Hello, excuse the croakiness. My throat's doing its own thing. I am off to create my own custom perfume today. I'm, I'm a little nervous and also a little excited to see what occurs and what happens and how it's done and what I end up with. Besides that, I'm also going to a cafe as is the usual. If I'm going to get dressed up, I'm going to make the most of it, visit as many places as possible. I don't know if anyone's like that, but if I've put on a, a cute outfit, I want to use it up. Lately this week, I think for the last two and a half weeks, I was, I've been feeling quite low. I've been feeling a little bit lost, a little bit muddled and unsure. So I consulted Persephone and the card that she gave to me for advice on how to find my way again was the Queen of Wands. And I believe at the beginning of this year, I did say that that was the energy that I was hoping to embody. The Queen of Wands to me is a bad bitch. She is charismatic, confident, carefree, and very much in her power. And it's something that I always felt like was in me, that that kind of woman was in here somewhere. But having spent most of my life being meek and mild and trying to walk on eggshells and hoping that if I'm not seen and I'm not heard, then I won't be punished, I won't be hurt, and I'll be safe. It's very difficult to take off that jacket. It's the jacket I wore for so long and it's so easy to slip back on, but I have to keep reminding myself that I am safe now. I have just me and my cats and my kids in my home and life is great and wonderful and I don't ever have to slip into that energy and that way of being. It's okay for me to be seen. It's okay for me to be heard and it's okay for me to be in my own power. And Persephone helped remind me, this is the energy that is most beneficial to you at the moment. You can be this. You don't have to apologize for the way you are. You don't have to be less. It's okay to express these parts of yourself. And so that's that's what I'm hoping to do. And it's just, it's always amazes me how with the tarot and the oracle and cards, how sometimes all it takes is just one card pull for something just to click, for it to be instantaneous. Like, yes, okay, I, I got you, I hear you, and I am on it. And that's the way it was as soon as the Queen of Wands came out. I'm like, of course, okay. That's the instant way for me to get out of this funk and to get that zest, that passion back is just to tap into it. And it was effortless. It wasn't something that I felt was difficult to do, but I'm like, all right, I'm going to bring out, bust out my sexy clothes today. I'm going to put a bit more effort into my self-care and expression and just really vibe. It's a beautiful, beautiful, glorious day today too. So I'm hoping only good things are coming my way. But yes, if you're ever in doubt, I say always consult the cards. It can really shift your Yes, it's just a good reminder of how instantly my energy can shift from a reading. It really is phenomenal. They just have such an impact on my emotional state or mental state. 
or spiritual state. And sometimes I, for I forget that I can consult the cards for things instead of just feeling blech. I can actually do something about it. And that's what I've done. So we'll be off today and I will let you know how it went when I return. But the whole experience will be more wrapped up in my perfume specific vlog. But I will just you know, give you a bit of a snippet, a sneak peek of what went down. <laughs> belly rubs belly rubs okay so i am back from lunch and the perfume experience so i'll talk about it more in my perfume blog afterwards i went to i think it's called all press and it's got such a beautiful courtyard beautiful gardens but the menu is very limited it's mostly just sandwiches and pastries and like takeaway kind of food the coffee was lovely though but I will talk more about the perfume. Sorry, she's just needing a lot of attention. <laughs> the perfume in my perfume blog. How are you getting down, Bluebell? So today I am going out with my girlfriend for lunch. And I also bought something. So I'll show you what I bought. It's this little guy right here. So I wanted a sun plush. And I don't know if it's the one I'll keep forever. I might still keep my eye out for one. But I did want something to represent sun energy in my bedroom. As you saw from the perfume vlog, I ended up choosing Tom Ford's Vanille Fatale, Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, and then I had the Solace perfume that I made custom. But I am still keeping my eye out, so thank you to all those who've mentioned some more perfumes for me to maybe target the next time I'm out at a store. I have a date tomorrow, so this was a match on Hinge. Uh, we'll see how it goes. They seem to be very intelligent, and the conversations have been great, but I'm going in with like zero, zero expectations. We're just going to meet up at a bar in the late afternoon and have a chat and I'll talk more about that tomorrow. But today, yes, I'm just going out with my girlfriend. I don't know if I'm going to do anything else. If I do, you'll see it. Hello, I'm back from the cafe. It was very busy. I think there was about a 15, 20 minute wait before we got seated. We ended up getting seated outside on the street. And I don't love that because you're next to cars and traffic. So it's not my favorite. Um, the food was okay. It was pretty average, so I would not go back. But I found this amazing stationery store, Sylvie, which was stunning. It's one of those stores that you could spend all day in. And I wanted to get a little something. So what I grabbed, I'm smelling that bag, is it yum? can you smell? I got some little treats for Easter. So these are Belgian chocolate bunnies with salted caramel. So for me and the girls, I think my makeup is running off my face. It's very hot today. And then I got some Mother's Day chocolate since Mother's Day is going to be coming up soon for my mothers. So just some chocolate raspberries, but I thought the tins were really, really, really cute. So that's what I grabbed from there. Hello, so today I am off on a date. We are meeting at the Black Cat in Fitzroy at 3 p.m. I have never been there, but it is a bit of an icon in Melbourne. My mum and my best friend absolutely love it. So I'm excited to finally see what it's like. I will not be taking footage, <laughs> there's no way. But I will put photos of it up when I talk about the date when I return. I am going in with zero this many expectations. I, I never feel good about going on dates from the apps because they, they, they still feel like blind dates to me. In the old days, you meet people on the street. You, you know straight away, you can tell, do I find them attractive? Can I talk to them easily? 
is there chemistry? Is the energy exchange one I enjoy? And then you exchange numbers and then go on a date and it's not as nerve wracking because you've already met them. Whereas yes, the online, I just don't know what's gonna happen. I'm not feeling great. So I'm having some digestive issues, which isn't fun. I didn't wanna cancel though, but he's just also texted me to let me know that he's got a headache and could we keep it short and sweet today? And I was just like, yes, we can. That is fantastic. In and out, let's just see, is there a vibe, is it not? And then go home. So I am very happy about that. I just got in the Aurora Tarot. So this is my first Maasai deck. I wanted to try out Maasai. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I really am not a Pips girl. I just don't like them. They give me nothing, but I know there's a whole system sort of with my size. So I'm going to start learning about it, reading up about it, but I'll obviously let you know my full thoughts on the deck in my end of month wrap up, but I'll see you when I get back from my date. Okay, so I am back. Um, the date was not a romantic connection for me, unfortunately. So that was a bust, but the black cat was very nice so it was smaller than i was thinking but they've got outdoor seating as well but it was just a very comfy cozy vibe with couches and music playing so very low-key very relaxed and i definitely go back there to have like chills with friends so that was great but i'm going to end this vlog here until next time stay wild star child